as I reflect on the discussions I have with uh, customers and business leaders, you know, there's generally agreement that they need to make significant cultural and structural investments to prepare their organisations to become business ready, you know, investing in their people, the ongoing development of technology and platforms to assist with ongoing adoption and then with the, you know, rapid pace of change. Um, so why don't we dive into this skills gap uh, a little bit more? Um, you know, recently we've seen at Oracle a lot of attention by national governments across the globe with their desire to upskill and reskill their nations. We're working at the national level with countries like uh, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, India, Egypt, Morocco, just recently Singapore, uh, too many more to, to list. But collectively, we aim to partner with many of these countries to train close to 2 million of their citizens in the latest cloud and artificial intelligence technologies. Um, but you can see with this demand, there's a lot of attention on the IT skill uh, challenge. So, so Gina, from your research, um, it seems that the skills deficit continues to be a constant and, and a persistent challenge, despite the investments I was just alluding to. And with the rate of technology change, these skills gaps seem to be widening, if anything. Oh, it's completely widening. You know, Damien, I've been in tech for, gosh, a little over 30 years. I was a, a tech reporter starting out uh, back in the late 80s. And we were talking about skills gaps in IT and the enterprise even then. But what's different, as you said, is the skill gap is what skill gaps are widening due to the accelerated rate at which technology is now arriving. And enterprises still have to keep everybody on top of the latest technologies to get the right people with the right skills into the right roles. But now they have to worry about so many technologies mm -hmm. and the skills themselves have a shorter and shorter shelf life. So a skill you learn now may not even be that useful two, three, four years down the road. I have some data, if you want to see it, that sure. shows <laughs> how it's impacting folks. That'd be great. Yeah, take a look at this. Let's see if I can bring this up on screen. Um, we are seeing, so I do a survey every year of IT leaders and we ask them every single year, how is a lack of skills impacting your business? And this year uh, we saw some of the highest numbers we've ever seen in terms of the negative impacts. 62% uh, of the respondents to the survey said they were missing revenue goals. Uh, as a result of the skills shortage or skill gaps at their enterprises. 61% seeing product delays, quality problems at 59%. Uh, companies are having trouble with customer satisfaction when they don't have people with the right skills at about 59% and lost revenue uh, at 57%. So those numbers are all higher than they were last year or the year before. And this isn't on the screen, but we also asked about digital transformation. And we're seeing that DX journeys are being delayed by about three to 10 months on average, directly due to uh, this issue with skills. That's why we're predicting that 90% of companies globally are going to see a skills gap or a skills, negative skills impact is result of their skills gaps by 2026.